Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the community construction meeting for the TCU area letter placement and infrastructure improvement project. Uh, before we start the meeting, please make sure you have yourself muted so we don't have a lot of background noise and we don't hear um, if your daughter is playing Sesame Street in the background. We had that at one meeting. Um, if you have any questions, please post them in the chat. Um, you'll see a chat link at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. We'll answer those chat questions following the presentation. If you're a call in user and cannot use the chat feature, uh, we will unmute you one by one so you can ask your questions. Uh, this meeting is recorded. A uh, link to the video will be posted to the city website project page by November 17th. If you are a board member of the Wedgwood Square, University West, University Place, Blue Bonnet Hills, or Frisco Heights Neighborhood Associations, I'll email that video link and meeting summary to you to share with your neighbors and uh, association members. And I do want to welcome Council 9, Council District 9 Council Member Ann Zeta and Council District 6 District Director Tara Holt to the meeting. And now I'm going to pass the um, meeting over to our professional engineer, Subi Baragis, who is our project manager. Good evening, all of you. My name is Subi Baragis. I'm the project manager managing this project. The agenda is introductions, project overview, project area, why are we doing this project, lead service lines, when does construction start. Your TCU area lead team includes project manager Subi Varghese. My contact number is 817-392-7803. My email address is subi dot v a r u g h e s e at Fort Worth, Texas dot g o v. Inspector is Daniel Roy. His contact number is 817-392-8370. And his email address is d a n i e l dot r o y at Fort Worth, Texas dot g o v. The contractor is Gratech Utilities, engineering design consultant, Bicentennial Engineering. Project overview: Water mains and sewer mains will be rehabilitated on Eighth Street and in two alleys. All city-owned lead services will be replaced with this Fort Worth Capital Improvement Project. After the water and river mains are installed, the streets mm -hmm. will be repaved with asphalt. This project is in Council District 9 and Council District 6. Project area. McPherson Avenue from Lubbock Avenue to Sandage Avenue, water line will be replaced. Lubbock Avenue from McPherson Avenue to West Canty Street, water and fever will be replaced. Merida Avenue from McPherson Avenue to West Canty Street, water line will be replaced. Alley between Merida Avenue and Santage Avenue from West Canty Street to McPherson Avenue, sewer line will be replaced. Alley between Princeton Street and West Canty Street from Greeny Avenue to Parmer Avenue, sewer line will be replaced. West Bowie Street from Merida Avenue to Santage Avenue, water line will be replaced. Wabash Avenue from Park Hill Drive to West Shanty Street, water line will be replaced. Lemetha Place from Benbrook Boulevard to Rogers Avenue, water and river line will be replaced. Rogers Avenue from Benbrook Boulevard, 
West Bidison Street water line will be replaced. Shirley Avenue from Kingsford Drive to Wallingford Drive water and sewer line will be replaced. Why are we doing this project? Replacing city owned lead services lines is the primary reason for undertaking this project. We are only replacing lead services on the city side of water line. Photoworks prioritizes water and sewer line replacement based on the available data, which includes the water main break history, leak history, CCTV inspection, age of the line, line material, and whether there are lead service lines. Lead service lines. All city-owned lead services will be replaced. There are a total of 64 identified lead service lines in this project. Customers affected by the lead service lines were notified by letter in December 2019 and again in October 2020. What part of the water line is lead? The city side of the service line starts at water main in the middle of the street and goes to the customer's meter. The city side of the service line is led. The customer side of the service goes from the meter to the house and includes all plumbing inside the house. It is possible that other plumbing materials, pipe, solder, brass fittings, or fixtures inside the house may contain lead. Property owners may need to hire a plumber to determine if there are lead plumbing materials inside the home. Where can I get more information? The Fort Worth Water Department offers a free test to determine lead levels in your drinking water. You can call at 817-392-4477. Additional information is available on New City website at www.fortworthtexas.gov slash departments slash water slash lead. Is the street closed during construction? If you use open cut method, the customers will see an open trench that is three, four feet wide in the middle of the street. The trench will be covered when the crews are not working on the line. One lane will be open for traffic during construction. You will have access to your home with minimal disruption. Will our water be turned off? A temporary water line will be installed, so customers will continue to have water. The water will be turned off for 15, 30 minutes when service is transferred from the existing line to a temporary water line, and when the service is transferred from temporary to the new water line. Will our sewer service be disrupted? Sewer service will not be interrupted. New sewer cleanouts will be installed at the property line. The sewer cleanouts provides close easy access if a backup or blockage occurs. Timeline. The construction begins Monday, November 16th. Shirley Avenue is the first street, phase one on the schedule. The project end date is June 2022. The contractor will put door hangers on your front door seven days before and one day prior to the start of construction. Contact. Project manager, Subi Varghese. My phone number is 817-392-7877. 
3 my email address is s u b y dot v a r u g h e s e at fortworth texas dot g o e inspector name is daniel roy his contact number is 8173928306 his email address is d a n i e l dot r o y at fortworth texas dot g o e emergency contact if there any water main break sewer backup you can contact 8173924477 and select option 1 for non emergency contact 7 am to 7 pm monday through friday you can contact 8173924477 and city closed down city holidays thank you if you have any questions please post them in the chat we will answer that questions thank you Okay, we don't have any questions in chat yet. Um, do you have questions about how this is going to affect your your streets, your um, access to your streets, the length of the contract, anything like that? Post them in chat. Okay, do you, if you want to ask a question, you can unmute yourself one by one, please. Hello, this is BJ Weber from University West. I, uh, I'm on the phone right now, but um, I didn't hear exactly when this project should start. Can you? Say that date again. It starts on November 16th. November 16th. November 16th? Yeah, Monday. Like a few months. Okay. So that's on the Shetley Avenue. That's the first phase. Okay. And so um, you said there would be door hangers hung uh, seven days before. Um, yes. Are we already past? do on that yes you will get a door hanging seven days and one day before the construction starts is the construction going to be lasting the entire year and a half can you say it again um i i believe you said the end date was june 21 um so i'm sorry that would be about june six months or so Can so, again? I hear properly. I, um, I was I was asking, is it going to be? I mean, a certain area like let's say the University West neighborhood will only be affected for a portion of that time, and a, as you guys move down the down the road, is that is that correct? Yes, the the construction will be on phases. Though the first phase starts on the Shetley Avenue, it uh, the construction will last for three four to five months. So you won't affect the entire 18 months or uh, 19 months, the entire project period. It won't, you won't affect that, the entire project period. Usually the construction, uh, three to four months in each phases. Okay, thank you. Okay, we do have some chat questions, Subi. Uh, the first is, uh, will city services like trash pickup continue uninterrupted? Just the trash will pick up, yes. It won't interrupt it. Okay. And uh, the next one is, will this be a reconstruction of streets as well or just water pipe replacement? At the least, will the streets be resurfaced to be smooth?
I think we said we were doing, we were Can resurfacing. You, yes, we are doing the resurfacing the street. Then the street will be repaved after water and sewer installation. Okay. Okay, if someone else has a question and wants to unmute themselves, one by one. Um, this is B.J. Weber again from University West. Uh, another quick question. How how much will the weather affect construction plans if if we have a lot of rain or or a, a long drought? Would that, you know, will that stretch things out or is this intolerant to weather? You, uh, the temporary water line will be installed during the construction. So your uh, water line will not uh, you know, the interrupt only 30 to uh, 15 to 30 minutes. You know, the, when the water line transferring from the temporary water line to a permanent water line, and the uh, 15 to 30 minutes it will be interrupted. Um, I, I understand that. I, my question may not have been phrased well. Um, I was looking at how long will construction get stretched out if we have rain or, or drought, um, will that will that disrupt insert, inserting the new pipes or will it be pretty intolerant to any weather delays? It's may, the construction may depend, may depend upon the weather. It may, uh, the construction uh, usually three to four months, but it may affect, the weather may affect, it may extend that construction. Okay, thank you. Do we have any other questions about the project that starts on Monday? Several of you were on the Park Hill meeting um, that we had Monday, so you've heard a lot of these answers already. Oh, I'm sorry, Martha, um, where are the maps and timeline available? Uh, are Martha, are you a board member of one of the associations? Okay. 
Okay. Um, if you're a board member of one of the associations, I'm going to email the um, project maps out to you. We will have the um, this video uh, attached to the project website page probably by the 17th. Um, if you want to type in or, or email me, but if you want to type in your um, email address, I can email that to you as well. You have to type it in the chat. Subi, do you want to talk about what the next street might be after Chudley? Yeah, the first street, first phase is Shirley Avenue. It starts on uh, November 16th. And the next street, it's uh, La Mesa Place and Wabash Avenue. It starts on February 2021. Okay. That's the second phase. And all timelines are subject to change. All right, right. Yeah, subject to change. This is a tentative schedule. Okay. Are we out of questions? I don't see anything more, Martha. I got your email address. We'll get those out to you um, probably the 17th. If anybody else um, wants me to email it, please let me know. Again, if you're a board member of one of those associations, you'll get that already. Okay. Well, we want to thank everybody for attending the meeting. Uh, you have Subi's contact information. You also have the contact information for Daniel Roy, who is our inspector. Um, this last slide that Subi left up shows the numbers you can also call to report emergencies, which is 817-392. 4477, and that's a 24-hour um, hotline. We appreciate you all coming. Thank you. Thank you.